Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, it is my pleasure to join uh, your conference, uh, even though it is an online joining and not a real joining. I would have loved to be part of that gathering and the academic and the intellectual discussions that are going to happen and inshallah the outcome that would have an impact uh, on the reality. Uh, it is the second annual international conference that you have an academic forum on sustainable development. Uh, I am very happy to know that this conference had attracted Muslim and non-Muslim scholars, Muslim and non-Muslim organizations in Indonesia. That is, this is very important and I greet UIN, a graduate studies program as an organizer and the other organizers for that achievement. And I think it's very important for Muslims and non-Muslims to gather around real issues like development and sustainability and think about how we can tackle these issues uh, from a religious perspective. It is sometimes a myth that people say that religion can only contribute to the mosque or the temple or the church and cannot contribute to the public life. It is very important when Muslims and non-Muslims gather together and prove that yes, religion can contribute to public life and can contribute answers to questions of development and sustainability and can provide actually uh, lessons even for advanced countries to learn from, uh, from developing countries uh, like Indonesia. I'm also very happy to know that Maqasid al-Sharia is going to be a part of that program. And uh, you have the greetings from the Maqasid Institute scholars uh, from Virginia and from London. And I know that Dr. Ali Abdul Muna, uh, the director of Ma'ad Maqasid Indonesia, is going to contribute to this discussion. Maqasid al-Sharia are the higher objectives of the Sharia, the ultimate principles and purposes of Islam. And it is very important that we consider those uh, when we talk about development. Uh, yet, maqasid al-sharia themselves, as theories, have to go through certain phase of development. Because if we only, only borrow historical theories of maqasid and purposes of the law, then we will be imprisoned in the historical worldview and the historical background from which these theories uh, came. But if we actually develop even the theory itself, the Islamic theory of the purposes of the Islamic law itself, we will be able to tackle new questions and new ideas. And the best way to develop these theories is the way that we um, adopt and follow in the Maqasid Institute and also in Mahad Maqasid Indonesia which is referring to the original text of Islam, referring to the Qur'an, looking for the higher purposes and the ends and the objectives, and from that project the objectives and the concepts uh, that come with them on the real issues so that we can discuss the questions of development from an Islamic point of view that is both contemporary as well as grounded uh, in the theology of Islam uh, proper. Uh, it is uh, such a pleasure that uh, this forum is taking place for the second time, and I'm looking forward to hearing and reading about the proceedings of that forum. And all the greetings to all of you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa